Do you ever, <laughs> real quick, on Wikipedia, do you ever get on there and it'd be the top, so it'd be like, it'd be great if you guys donate it. I'm scrolling. <laughs> I'm scrolling. <laughs> I'm nothing, bro. Like, I'm sorry. I'm free to the motherfucker. If anybody can get on here and get post information, I'm not, I'm not going, bro. Paying so, for people to lie and stuff. Like, for somebody to get know. on there and change that. Uh, Nick Cannon got killed at a dis battle. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, it was like last week or something, man. Get out of here. Hey, come on, dog. That's not how this should work. Oh, man. I'm so tired. Whew. <clears throat> All right, guys. What up? Black this is, Planet. Yes, it is. And this is a special Star Wars spoiler cast, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't seen it in this will be relevant by the time it's posted. So, you know, a lot of people may have not seen it yet, even though all the... Would you say everybody's seen it yet? No, I don't know. Uh, I feel like... I feel like most people seen it on Thursday and shit. It was like, it's yeah. time to hurry up and watch it. Because, cause like, at this point, now everybody's just trying to, like, duck spoilers and, like, yeah. die spoilers. Say, like, uh-uh, I'm watching I it. Was, surprisingly, I didn't see any spoilers. I until did. we did, until we watched it yeah. Saturday. But then again, I don't really know. I mean, I <laughs> you know, I could have seen a spoiler and I not even realized that that's what it oh, was. Oh man, I thought they was talking about Ray from the block. Huh? <laughs> I don't know Ray Scott. Ray Allen? Walker. You talking about Jesus <laughs> Shuttle's wife? Ray? I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, no. so Rise of the Skywalker episode nine. <laughs> so this. <laughs> This is so you've been watching because you know, I know you watch Rogue One. Yeah, and that, you watched, that was the one that came out like two thousand, like two years ago, basically something like yeah, that. Yeah, not two, the most recent ago. one or whatever. Um, and you watched the prequel trilogy recently, mm-hmm. and you haven't watched any of the other ones. Mm-mm. Okay, so that's like a weird. Um, yeah, I've been jumping. Around. <laughs> I've been jumping around because I also watched the animated movie like. Uh, the Clone Wars. Uh, I watched that, and then I started watching the show of Clone Wars too. Mm. Did you feel like does I don't because I've never watched Clone Wars the cartoon. <coughs> Did that movie have anything that made you feel better about the prequel trilogy? Like, did it help any uh, of that? No, but I don't really care. Like, <laughs> it, it wasn't like I don't care about this yeah, at all. Well, Bye, like, guys. The, 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 um, the, like the little trilogy, the prequel trilogy, it, it didn't have anything in it that I was like, man, this is just dumb. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Like it wasn't like, like and I know because we had talked about it like before we started watching the other one or whatever um, about how the what the first one ain't really nothing. It's just yeah. like that, like random like, hey, what you doing? Oh, yeah, cool. politics. Yeah, like, let's go over here. We gonna do a death race and then in the end, basically. Um. So that's just kind of how I felt. I mean, Anakin was kind of a crybaby. And in the show, he isn't as much of a crybaby, I guess. I mean, in the movie. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't nothing that was like, oh, okay, cool. Hmm. I didn't feel no differently or whatever. Did, um, so you, the first one, like, yeah, it was really not by anything. Because we just watched it. Well, me and Letitia watched it. Was it Friday night it came on TNT? And um, I haven't watched it. Especially like the majority of it since I was a kid, so I really don't even damn near remember like what the hell's going on. Like mm-hmm. obviously it's like it's about Anakin. You figure out where he comes from and pod racing and yeah, Darth Maul, everybody's favorite that doesn't last long enough, <laughs> which is still like an odd choice to me. But um, he had like two words that hold me. Yes, like, master. I got you, bro. <laughs> Call, he called his name. He had a job to do. Did his job. Man, he did. He got popped. Like, come on, man! You get a, you get the like the coolest lightsaber weapon at the time. And he only there for like thirty minutes. Tops. That fat kid that just disappeared. <laughs> no. Um, but I guess it's to me. And this isn't. This is gonna get to rise. But the point of what I'm saying is, is that you have such a weird like watch history of it or knowledge mm-hmm. of it 
And like you said, you kind of don't even feel like you hate the tr- prequels like a lot of people yeah. do. And I don't really hate them either because I started watching them, you know, 2000s or whatever, early, like late 90s. So I didn't watch the later ones, the earlier ones until, you know, I got older. Yeah. So I get like, I think we're almost on the same page where it's just kind of like, okay. It's just a movie. Yeah. Like a movie at this point. It, it doesn't have any like sentimental value or anything or like, especially since I didn't see the ones that came out first, like the older ones. Mm-hmm. So I'm not like being like, oh man, this is whack now because this is what they should have been doing and this is how it should have looked and yeah. having all the like, you know, preconceived notions about it or going into it thinking about uh, like what it should look like or what it should have going for it or nothing. So I think that that makes a big difference yeah. as far as like being just just kind of being a little less objective, I guess. Mm-hmm. And you not seeing because you but you seen Rogue One, which is before um, Episode Four. So you you basically seen one through like four in chronicle or and like in that chronicle order, I guess you should say. Because mm. Rogue One leads into a New Hope with like the last scene where they go to. Um, where they transmit like the thing to Princess Leia and stuff on the ship, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But um, so yeah, you don't see that whole like you know Luke and Leia and Han and that whole bit, and then you get to Episode Seven where all the you know afterwards and they're trying to do like the um the aftermath of Darth being gone and the Order being supposedly gone and all that type of mm-hmm. blah 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 stuff so much politics man. and i damn near don't really know as much either because i'm like do i really even know what this the is about? Is <laughs> so corrupt i mean the government is corrupt anyway and that's totally different but it's just funny because it's like damn man like the whole movie is based on like one secret one yeah. person being like shh they don't tell them but one jerk we don't like them <laughs> we never liked them this whole time and it's across the <laughs> whole I mean, it's like galaxies and like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even really, mm-hmm. I guess they just say it's the galaxy, but it's like a lot of damn planets and shit. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I can't even, I mean, it's sci-fi, but it's like, I can't even fathom like how that would really w- work. Like a government working across all them planets like that. Yeah, for sure. But um, getting the rise really, which obviously is after seven and eight, episode nine, um, and I had forgot, honestly, that because J.J. Abrams directed episode seven and then Ryan Johnson directed episode eight and then Abrams directed episode nine. So there is like a little bit of like discussion online about how they kind of like were trying to do two different things with the same like yeah. characters and stuff <clears throat> like that, which I haven't watched Force Awakens in a while. And I haven't watched Last Jedi in a while either. So it's kind of like, and I remember like what happened, I guess. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, damn, I kind of wish I would have watched these mugs again. So Mm -hmm. I could kind of see what people are like talking about in terms of like plots not making, working like they thought they were going to and everything like that. (sighs) But um, overall though, what did you, you like episode nine though? Yeah, it was a good movie for sure. I mean, just like. From a movie standpoint, just kind of like I said earlier, and just not really being objective or being like a crazy Star Wars fan or mm-hmm. whatever. It was cool to me. I liked it. I mean, I could tell, like, just in like watching it, some things seem to be like random to me. Yeah, like kind of like convenient writing. Yeah, yeah. I could kind of see that where I'm like, uh, what? What, what are you, why are you doing that? What yeah. was that for? But. I access shit because I don't actually know, like, I don't know that that was, like, a random thing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just <clears throat> just seemed like it, just as I was watching it or whatever. Yeah, I agree with you. That was something I left with, because I like the movie. It's not, like, the best, you know, thing yeah. I've ever seen. Like, I was entertained, though, the whole way through. It was, like, what, two and a half hours? That's a long yeah, long. at some points I felt the length. But for the most part, I didn't really mind it. Mm-hmm. And I had my daughter with us, and your dad was there. Yeah. Um, I think it was just because I was hungry. I yeah, yeah. Dinner, <laughs> I just basically, like, got Dang. up and got ready. And we <laughs> had to, you know, have to be there or whatever. So I was like, uh, you know, stomach yeah. growling. I was like, uh, uh, I got to get out of here. You know, <laughs> just acting like that. But, 
It wasn't because it was like a long movie or nothing. Yeah. And I don't mind long movies, really. Like, if you know what I'm saying? If the pacing is fine and there's the story's moving. Yeah, it's especially action entertainment and, and stuff. And I was, and you know, like, because my daughter being there, I was gauging it off of her, too, where she doesn't, she didn't really complain or anything. She had her icy and stuff, and she was just kind of like, okay, like, I'm here. <laughs> like, if, and she's eight, so it's kind of like she can deal with it now, I guess. But, mm-hmm. you know, younger kids are like, all right, I'm, I got to go. <laughs> I'm cool. This is boring. And I, I I meant to ask her like what she remembered about it because I, I could t- I was wondering if she was even really paying attention. Mm-hmm. It was one part kind of earlier in the movie where I knew she was because it was like a little joke and she laughed or whatever. But mm-hmm. after that, I was like, she probably just like okay, I don't really understand. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> and I think I feel like she watched the first at least one of the other ones with me, but I can't I can't remember which one. But um. Yeah, overall though, I thought it was fine, and I and I when I was on Reddit after uh, we left the theater, I was seeing a lot of positivity on there. So it's kind of like it seemed like it was like more negativity on like Twitter and like Facebook, and then like Reddit seemed like where everybody was like, "Oh man, I like this and that and da 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 da." Because I thought like for how much the hate this trilogy has gotten, and I feel like people still like it more than the prequel trilogy. Like it still seems like it's like up there and like seeing people's rankings of like where they put different movies i'm still seeing a lot of people put rise in like the middle to bottom tier mm. which is fine whatever i don't even know where i'd rank it honestly like i really want to rewatch all of them again just to like yeah figure it out but um yeah i don't like negative wise like what would you say but like even like we we're saying like convenient writing what would you say anything negative like maybe like humor wise or action or choreography uh, or characters hmm. do i have well, do i have anything really negative to say i don't feel like i do like i i think um it was cool to me like it, i guess it could have been like i would have liked to see a lot a couple more like fight scenes or something i guess you think just some so? more action but not that it wasn't enough i think i just wanted some more you yeah know what i'm saying not, not that it would like it was lacking in that way. I think I just would have been a little bit more interested personally had it been like some more like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I would say, um, and really I don't even know. I guess I'm just trying to think of something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really have no, I don't really feel no type of way. And this is, I mean, this is kind of getting to the spoiler part, but like most of the action in the movie was really just between Ray and Kylo. Mm hmm. And they're like little like, do we hate each other or not situation? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and those scenes are actually pretty cool. To yeah, me. I yeah. thought those were like the coolest of the like, especially like the fight scenes. Some of the CGI was kind of wonking me out because they have that part where they're fighting in that on that like water that that structure that was in the water, yeah, that like Death Star or whatever. Yeah, the was. was the Death Star. Yeah, yeah <clears throat> that's right. Um. And they, and she, they was you know flipping around, and force flipping and yeah. shit, and they would land, and you could tell it was like a computer generated, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And it was, it didn't like take me out of the movie or anything, but it was just one of the things I was like, ugh, like yeah. <laughs> you just expect to be like, come on, man, you yeah, gotta do better than that. Because CGI is so crazy, man, and because even with Carrie Fisher being Princess Leia in this. And, like, I damn near forgot, like, this, how she, in episode eight in The Last Jedi, she dies, kind of, but she comes back because of the Force, basically. But she's dead in real life. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, wait a freaking minute. Like, I don't yeah. understand how they're doing this right now. Yeah, like, what sure. kind of technology is this? I was like, thinking about that, too, because I was like, well. But then I guess I just chalked it up as, like, they already had had it. Like, the and voice stuff. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess that was, that was kind of what brought me back from that yeah i was happening but you could tell that it was like not actually her or yeah. like not a, like a person maybe it was just like a computer kind of like that gemini man movie or whatever. Uh, yeah it was just like a suit somebody mm-hmm. in a suit wearing her skin i guess which is kind of weird yeah <laughs> <laughs> but like it it didn't look fake though and I somebody's probably like well it was this you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. they did like I'm like I really and I, I meant to look it up I really didn't understand that 
Because then that was just kind of, that was weird to me. Yeah. <clears throat> when, like, having her in the story was important for how they wrote it. Mm-hmm. Because she was still a big part of the resistance, you know, going out there and... She was the spirit. Doing what they needed to do. Yeah. Being that last, like, yeah. vessel for hope, yeah. essentially. Space and so... Luke was like, ugh. I'm gone for real. Like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> it's a computer. Why he looks so tired? Like even in episode eight, like he was just like, I don't like this shit at all. And, like even, but even his force ghosts are just kind of like, all right. I guess we got to finish this now. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know, you know, because I don't really know, like uh, his sentiments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like how he felt about the whole thing. Cause you know, shit, the last time I seen him, he was young. As yeah. far as like me watching the movies, yeah, you know what I'm true. saying? So, <clears throat> cause he in the original trilogy, you know, he was kind of like a, I don't really know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And then Yoda was like, motherfucker, you, you got it. I don't even want. Well, okay. he wasn't even like that as much as he yeah. was just kind of like, dude, I don't really even care about you that much, <laughs> like. Like, you're in my house trying to get some lessons, and I don't really want to do any of this. But then, you know, he learns how to, like, you know, have that spirit and stuff. And really, as this as this trilogy shows, like, Leia was really the one that was the, you know, the true reason for hope and stuff. And Luke was just kind of the the guy that Backup was... plan. Yeah, was essentially. Kind of the, the one that was there. Like, oh, you here? Cool. We can use you. <laughs> we got it. We good. You good, bro. Come on. Um, But yeah, and definitely on these last couple movies, he's just kind of like, ugh. Fuck it. <laughs> um, we really just, really just need to get into plot on it. Yeah. The beginning of the movie, they start out with um, Kylo Ren. He's like on that... um whatever planet i don't even they don't even really say in the beginning where he was but he was he found that wayfinder yeah stuff. he yeah. found the like pyramid green what was it the sith wayfinder mm-hmm. a gps tom tom yeah <laughs> garmin and and that was like the main like the first act i guess like the first plot act or whatever how you say it movie talk where like I was like, okay, so obviously it's an important item he's trying to get. Mm-hmm. What the hell is it? And then you go to Ray, like training on um, Naboo or whatever that planet is, where all the resistance is. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, I don't know how to do this city. And I was kind of yeah. like, and they was getting like Poe and uh, Finn and all them were like mad at her for like trying to find herself and stuff like that. And it was like a lot yeah. of selfish shit going on. Yeah, it was all movie. salty. Everybody was just salty about everybody doing their own yeah. thing pretty much. And that, what did you think about the, because um, you go after you find Kylo doing what he's doing, trying to get that Wayfinder to go to the Sith planet. After that was when you get to um, the Finn and Poe and Chewbacca and them and the Millennium Falcon, right? Or was that after they um, first showed Ray? I think they showed Ray first because then you remember they had that little because throughout the whole movie they had that little connection where they was like looking at each other. They was in in, in eyes of each other. Yeah, her and Ray, I mean Kylo. They kept doing that like I can see you. Can you feel me? I'm inside your mind. What, what are you doing? Yeah, it was that whole thing. They was doing that the whole time. And I think that that happened. And then she was like, wow, I'm really lost. Yeah. Who am I? And then they, and then they showed that part. <clears throat> I don't um, think they did, maybe. I, I think, can, yeah. I, it was it was so like close together. Yeah. Because the part of the, them trying to get away from all the um, Sith people and stuff, or like the Order people was like, pretty fast like paced because they were trying to get that action. yeah because they were trying to get that little message trying mm-hmm. to find out who was the spy or whatever yeah the spy for the resistance and the uh on the order uh but but even before that and i forgot that palp they show the emperor palpatine is still alive because mm-hmm. it was kind of weird like the right at the beginning of the movie they're like yep he's back yeah and you don't really understand the significance of that because you haven't watched the regular movies, I don't think, to uh, that degree, because yeah, I didn't know that he was like gone yeah. in that way. You know, I'm saying I'm just to me it was just like oh, okay, he's a villain again, still mm-hmm. or whatever. Because <clears throat> in the prequels, obviously you know he's there because 
He was like, hey, Anakin, yeah. come on, bro. Let talk Let's to be you bad, quick. man. Psst, psst, psst. <laughs> come here, bro. I got to tell you. But in, like, in, but in the regular trilogy, in the original trilogy, Darth, like, kills him in, like, in Return of the Jedi. But he doesn't really, like, physically die. He kind of does that, like, forced ghost thing where he just, like, disappears. Mm-hmm. Like how, um... We'll get to it, but how um, Leia does too, yeah. where her body just kind of like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody had that going on, actually. But all uh, the people that died this time or whatever, yeah. Did um, but no, but um, yeah. So you think he's dead? I guess, and I guess there's like, um, and people are saying online there's like books and stuff that explain how he was like still like alive. I guess because he would like work on like force magic to like not die essentially mm-hmm. or something i don't know because like, he still had a body like a physical form in this movie yeah but it was like attached it, to a robot yeah, and it, was like, <laughs> it was definitely decomposing yeah he was definitely like his, his body was getting old i mean obviously he's old or whatever mm-hmm. or not but his body was definitely decomposed and like falling apart mm-hmm. Which they didn't really explain, like, what was keeping him alive. I mean, you just assume it's just some kind of weird juice. Yeah, <laughs> all, of them, all, of them, all them random, like, his little servants or the little people that was on that planet with him, too. Mm-hmm. Like, no, that they was didn't really, weird. They didn't really show them that much. Yeah, they were but just But they was, of... like, a significant part to whatever he mm-hmm. had going on. So you would think it was, like... Something that we should have known about, or at least heard about. Yeah, it was like this weird Sith underlings or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they show that he's alive on Exegol, which is like the forbidden, like lost Sith planet. And I'm like, they have a whole planet and shit. Like, <laughs> man, you know when you when you fake dying, you gotta go underground. For real, right? <laughs> when you fake your death, you gotta so go Tupac with. You gotta go off world for real. Um, and I was just kind of like, okay, so. Because I never mentioned Palpatine in 7 and 8 to, that I can recall. And it's not even like a thing of like, oh yeah, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's still around. I didn't mm-hmm. ever think about it. But then it never really was even like a... The main villain in all these movies was kind of Kylo, but it wasn't. And it was just kind of like figuring out where Rey was even coming from and stuff. So it was just kind of like a weird like... You know what I'm saying? There wasn't, like, the big, big villain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because even with Kylo, he was just so conflicted the whole time. Yeah, where he's he just kind of like, what? you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he's not as bad as he wants to be. And his confusion and, like, conflict, his self-conflict kind of enhanced Ray's self-conflict yeah. as well. So it was just, like, a bunch of... It, I feel like, like you said earlier, it was just a bunch of selfishness going. Everybody was just... Trying to figure out themselves mm-hmm. and where they where their place was in this war. Exactly. What 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 did, what was the significance that they brought to the table? Pretty mm-hmm. much, because everybody had like a like <gasps> me moment. Yeah, where it was just like, I'm this person and this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, especially Finn, where he's just kind of like there for like, oh yeah. I can feel the instincts. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I can feel it inside me. What we should do right now? And then him and Poe and like their bromance are all like, "Man, bro, like what? You're not gonna <laughs> tell me you're like some kind of crazy guy and you know how to do all this underground stuff?" And it's just like, dude, like calm down, like <laughs> calm down, bro. Crazy. Um, but after that, after we see um the. Ever see Palpatine, then we get to the uh, spaceship battle with Poe and all them. And then, like, we were talking about Rey is trying to figure out herself. And Leia's kind of like, you'll figure it out. You know, you just have yeah. to know, trust who you are. She's like, I'm tired of trying to trust me. And then, they, like you said, they all that selfishness. And Poe and Finn were like, we need you out there on the battlefield. Da, 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 da. I'm like, man, why'd y'all leave then? Like, <laughs> if y'all can't handle it. <laughs> Like, come on, yeah. bro. Like, either you go do it or not. That's funny. Like, you just want her to be able to murk everybody. Like, dude, you got to stand up for yourself. Because what if she died? Like, yeah, man. Pick up. Pick, 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 practice, man. Get your aim together. <laughs> do something with yourself. And so they figure out that there's the spy. Da-da-da. 
and they end up going to the um why did they end up going to that next that desert planet because the ship that had that other wayfinder that Luke was looking for that other wayfinder and that was the last place okay. it was like the last clue strong lead that they had that's what on. it was okay yeah I, like, I cannot remember why they mm-hmm. went there. I knew yeah because they were trying to find another wayfinder I couldn't remember why they because that's when that they end up uh, running into Lando or whatever he was like, yeah, Luke was here. And so was I. The whole yeah. crew. He was all here. <laughs> he just, every, every time he, like, and I know that that was the time or whatever, because it was like the 70s or whatever. I don't know. But I just kept on getting, like, the, like, 80s rap vibes from him. The whole movie. <laughs> Be uh, <laughs> like, this is the point. You got to follow me here. Then oh go there. I, I could not <laughs> tell how he talked. I was just like, man, you got to chill, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was about to bust out in the rap That's every time. Man. Shoot. So they, <laughs> they go to that desert planet, which I don't even remember what the hell it was called. But it had, like, that, like, super tribal, like, that made it seem like they was like Africans or something like you know yeah, what I'm saying or like the Polynesians yeah. yeah the way they was dancing and stuff I'm like they was doing like the Nick Cannon dance <laughs> <laughs> like, but they they were there to get the art find the artifact and um, freaking Lando Calrissian just pops up and you're just kind of like okay like why are you just here like what are you doing like <laughs> retired man he was out to perform at the festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rap show, I'm telling you. That was the whole point. He was on that planet. Was he was about to perform. Dream. That was why they was on the tour bus. He snatched him <laughs> onto that tour bus. <laughs> he was riding on him. And he was what like, they was like, come with us, bro. He's like, nah, I can't come with y'all this time, bro. I got stuff to do. That was what he had to do. He had a performance <laughs> in like an hour after after they got done. And like, it's just like, and this is where like the convenient writing like sets up. Where it's like, you have to, I guess if you want him in the movie, to be a part of this, like, everything's coming together situation. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, but it was just so, like, why the fuck are you here? Like, you could have been anywhere in the galaxy, and you're just on this one planet yeah, with these I'm dancing you, elephant-looking man. people. because, man, bro had a performance. <laughs> he had an 8 o'clock show. Lando, man, tonight. <laughs> Live from the desert. Oh, my God. Yeah. But, um, anyway, <laughs> he was just there. And, I mean, okay. And then they're like, okay. So, and Ray's like, oh, yeah, we can go over to this ship or whatever. And what was dude's name? Ochi or something. Ochi. Oichi is something yeah. weird. And they were like, and yeah, Lando's like, yeah, Ouichi, he got his ship over there. And that's the last place he was. Mm-hmm. It's right across this desert area. And they're like, okay. So it's just conveniently just right there. Like, it took them no more than like 10 seconds yeah. to find the ship. They found some uh, little raggedy cruisers they stole. Yeah. That po- uh hot wire. He was like, how'd you figure I had a hot wire of that, man? Like, where did you learn this cool, bad stuff? He's like, dude, shut up, Finn. Shut like, up, either man. you're going to ride it or you're not. Man, and like, clearly, he knows how like he's a mechanic or something yeah, in that he's a way pilot or whatever. Or, like, so come yeah, on, he, of bro, course like, he's gonna know how to do that. What are you talking about? Yeah, like out of all the things for him to know how now, to do Now if he cooked up some pancakes or some random ass shit, then I'd be like, <laughs> okay, like what? But like he's like literally working on ships and shit. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows how to which wires to connect to start these cruisers or whatever he's exactly. riding on. Yeah, that was definitely just like a okay. Like, why would you even write that in there? Like, <laughs> oh, anyway, they have that cool like speeder fight with those um, cause the um, stormtroopers, stormtroopers come because they end up fight. They end up finding them in the middle of the uh, festival or whatever. And- well, cause um, they had that scene, or another one of those moments where kylo and ray was like talking to each yeah, other yeah, yeah. And, and he took that little the necklace, necklace off that of her, yes that was important figure out where, where the fuck she at what is this <laughs> yeah. it was like find it now and then then they was like oh, okay it's on this like random ass planet mm-hmm. in the middle of the desert and like you know it was goofy about that one i i didn't forget that they could do this we're in the same mental space or whatever but like they they could just like take objects off of each other which is yeah. weird and like you said, he took that necklace off of her and figured out where they were. Um, 
And freaking light speed travel, hyper speed travel, was crazy. Cause they was there in like two seconds, yeah, like it was like no so time. Fast as hell. And um, they end up then the one uh, person who was it that shot the stormtrooper with the arrow? Was that wasn't Lando? Who was that? Um, well, was, oh, that was just somebody that lived there. It was Lando. I'm trying he, to think. It I'm was here. Lando because he had on that weird armor. Yeah, yeah, and then it he was. took it off, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, on okay. the tour bus when he got so on the backtracking. Tour bus. Yeah, that's how yeah. they met him. Okay, I'm just like, I'm, I'm backtracking here because <laughs> like, I'm like, huh? Wait, they did somebody did get a first shot in? Who was that? But yeah, that's how that happened. But yeah, so yeah, so Lando shot him. Then they talked to Lando about OHG ship across the desert. Then they have the speeder battle. And that was a pretty cool scene. Mm-hmm. And I did, I did like, like that one for sure. I liked what, yeah, I did like when Finn did something useful and he threw the hook anchor or whatever and mm-hmm. it caught the wheel and stuff. I, like, that was pretty cool. Um, and they was like, and then the stormtroopers could start, could uh, fly with them jetpacks, which they was like, oh man, they can fly. And I was like thinking, I was like, they couldn't already fly, but I was thinking that's Mandalorians having jetpacks. Mm. But like, oh yeah, stormtroopers didn't really mess with them too much i don't think so that was it was still pretty cool but it was just kind of weird like wait a second yeah <laughs> but uh see so yeah, they end up finding oishi ship and they're like oh man it's right here and but they end up getting caught in like that sand trap or whatever it was like quicksand or yeah something like <clears throat> and like everybody's lost whatever and <laughs> C-3PO was pretty funny in this movie. Yeah, I thought. Sure. He carried a lot of the comedic <laughs> For sure. As they fall into the, um, they fall in the pit, and uh, Poe is like, Ray? Finn? Where's Finn? Da-da-da. And C-3PO's like, you didn't call my name, but I'm okay, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah, he was. And I liked it, too, because he was like, is this the afterworld? Is, uh, droids, of, is droids allowed here? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's funny how much like droids are just like in this weird space where everybody a lot of people use them for stuff but there's always people that hate them and i don't understand which i mean and this could just be because i don't know but i don't understand so just like everybody speaks droid everybody yeah. or they just be like yeah anyway mm-hmm. you got it i know what you're saying yeah because the only one that talks like how we know to talk is C three PO, but yeah, yeah everybody else be like, mm, beep, mm, beep, yeah, beep. like boy, you a fool, you know you can't <laughs> say that. R like, two, you're silly. And but then and they find that other one later. Edo. But um, what was his name? Edo. Edo. Okay, yeah. they was calling him Conehead. Conehead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, my name is Edo. But they, but they get through the, uh, they Ooh. go through the sand trap. And they end up finding that snake in there because they're like, man, what made these like holes and stuff? Mm-hmm. When you figure out the the sand snake had like wounds and stuff, and they also found like Oichi's body was like skeleton, just whatever. Mm-hmm. And they find the dagger and stuff, and Ray like ends up force healing the um, the snake or whatever. And this is another point of the movie that was kind of like, hmm, like I know she's strong, obviously. But she just starts doing stuff that, like, I don't recall her ever doing before. And obviously, mm-hmm. she's been training. But it was just like, oh, yeah, I know how to do this now. Like, yeah. I'm just going to heal you real quick. And yeah. the snake's like, oh, yeah, you guys are cool. Shoot, thanks, bro, because that was me up, man. <laughs> I, was, ooh, I was about to light y'all up because I didn't know what y'all was doing down here. I thought y'all trying to fuck me up some more. for years. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, so she force heals the snake. Which I think, when you, what are you saying about, like, writing convenience it's like how did that even happen you know what i'm but saying but you mean like how did that sand snake even get scratched oh like yeah i mean i guess you can assume that it got hurt a while ago but it's like when yeah like because who would have been down there seems like to me nobody's been down there for right, a long yeah. time so did that and i mean it was other little sand snakes that was like hanging out in the background but if if that was the one that beat up the other one would they just be hanging out together yeah. like I, don't, I didn't understand like why what was the point of that because it was just like oh yeah thanks now i can let y'all out of here yeah, Here's the basically yeah. <laughs> so yeah that was definitely feels like a convenience mm-hmm. and they find that they end up finding a dagger that wasn't the pat the wayfinder but it ends up being like a it has Sith writing on the blade, mm-hmm. and they go through this whole thing with um, C three PO is like, oh yeah, I can translate that. 
And they're like, cool, yeah, we can get this Wayfinder. And he's like, but I can't read Sith out loud because it's <laughs> forbidden in my programming. And this is another one where it's just like, man, wait, what? Like, okay, so you can do everything except read Sith stuff. So why do you even, like, have it in your programming that you know it at all? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, because when you, you learn in episode one that Anakin made C-3PO, but it's like, why was that even anything? Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Or how do they even have, I don't, I mean, obviously it's space technology, but it's like, you know, all these languages and stuff, but how, like, where do you get that, like, chip from? Yeah. That, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Or <clears throat> and how I do you process that? That would have just came from wherever they made C-3PO from the beginning. Because, I mean, he was already, a, I mean, Anakin made him, but he was already a droid before Anakin got to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't just make them from scratch. He didn't just, like, build them up to be a social... He was already, like, a social droid that was meant for human droid social okay. connections. Like, because, like, when they restarted him, which this is later on, some more spoilers, but when they restarted him, that's what, that was his introduction. Yeah. And the only reason why I even can know that now is because I just watched that first one again. Yeah. Or and that was like his whole thing's like I'm a social I'm here for mm-hmm. you know social relations basically like a social worker so it would make sense that he would know hella different languages true because that's the connection I mean you know what I'm yeah. saying like that makes him the reason why he's even exists in the first place in the very beginning mm-hmm. I guess now I can hear it. I can see that hear that whatever like, anyway <laughs> no because i was just like when like you saying it that way i'm like okay now nah, i can yeah he I just should have already had that stuff anyway but you know like you said then it then that's when it comes to being like conveniency i guess or whatever yeah then it's like you know all this stuff but whoever has you to begin with was like no nah, you'll never translate sit boy yeah, yeah. You watch your mouth you can have it all you want but you can't say it hold your tongue you little stupid robot <laughs> But, um, so they end up finding the blade and they get out of the sand trap. As you explained, the snake was like, cool, y'all, blah, da, da. And, um, they end up going out there. They end up getting into the ship to, um, figure out some other stuff. And then I find, that's where they find the droid, right? Mm-hmm. In the final that's the best. That was one of my favorite parts, because... Ray was like, what's up, bro? And he, like, pulled up on her, and he was like, hey, how y'all doing? And then she, like, went to touch him. He's like, oh, no, 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 thank you. Thank you <laughs> that was really funny. It's, and, um, because, um, BBA ends up, like, recharging his battery or whatever, which mm-hmm. is pretty cool. I like when the droids have their little cool situations like that. But, um, the stormtroopers and, um, all the, uh, bad guys end up coming. Because Ray's just like, hold on. I can feel something. <laughs> and you end up seeing Kylo and his um, ship flying through whatever, low to the ground. And then at the same time, all the um, other guys were coming in them big, like, transport ships. And, like, Chewbacca goes out there, ends up getting captured. And you're like, well, that was just kind of easy. <laughs> like, because yeah. Finn ends up go, goes out there because he's trying to save Ray from Kylo or whatever, which I'm like, Finn, what are you gonna do, mate? You know, I know you can kind of fight, but bro, get out the way. Can you? Because <laughs> I ain't seen not one hand to hand. <laughs> he ain't had no hand to hand action the whole time. But, um, <laughs> he shot two pistols, that was it. <laughs> and he jumped on the ship. Nah, let me trip. Yeah, <laughs> giving him a hard time. <laughs> Shit. And, uh, so they end up coming and Chewbacca ends up getting taken and Ray has like the like mo- moment in the trailer people see where she kind of has this like flip over the ship and cut the wing situation which was cool yeah that was pretty tight and uh, <laughs> Kylo comes out the burning flames from the ship like some badass and stuff mm-hmm. you're like that's cool <laughs> badass emo and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love this stuff. I love death. This is so cool. And, uh, <laughs> and Finn is like yelling at her because Chewbacca ends up getting taken. And then he's like, come on, man. We got to go. We got to figure this out. Da, da, da. 
And, like, Kylo doesn't even, like, really, like, try to get her. Like, he's just like, okay. Yeah. I'll just slowly walk over here as you escape. Yeah. And they're like, oh, man, Chewbacca's gone, about to be gone, da-da-da. And um, she ends up force-pulling, like, the ship. And then Kylo's like, nope, I'm going to force-pull it, too. So they're mm-hmm. playing force-tug-of-war together, <laughs> which was pretty cool. And then this is when all hell breaks loose. Cause she ends up shooting lightning into the damn ship, and then she's like, "Oh god, up. blew this shit up!" You like, you know, seemingly killing everybody and Chewbacca along with it. Mm-hmm. You're like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> like this is a turd." Yeah. And two things to this was that for me, and I don't know how you felt about it, but I was like, "There's no way Chewbacca's dead." Because they're not just going to kill Chewbacca like that. Like There was no, you know what I'm saying? There was no emotional, like, yeah. happenings. And then she ends up shooting the lightning out of her hand. And I'm like, okay, so the only person that could do that is Palpatine, as far as I remember. So Yeah, I had to ask my dad. I was like, wait, wait, wait. wait. So, uh, she's doing that because Palpatine, don't he yeah. got, <laughs> got electricity? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's the significance here? Because I know that there's some... <laughs> Yeah, man. I was just like, okay, so this is where we're going with this, huh? That's his dad. I mean, that's her dad. Yeah. That was my thought, which I didn't. And that was definitely, like, the inclination to it. It was just like, okay, so that's where we're going with this. Like, he comes back. She does that. So, I mean, I guess this is where the story's leading. But, um, and that was just kind of weird to me. I was like, I know you have to, like, show... Because she's doing this whole, like, am I a bad guy or not? You know, Mm da-da-da. Like you were saying earlier, everybody's having this, like, selfish stuff going on. And people are, like, kind of keeping secrets from everybody. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so she ends up thinking she kills Chewbacca. And then they end up running off in the uh, new ship they got. Because their ship ends up getting taken. So they can't get back on the Falcon. So they end up taking the other ship, right? Yeah. And um, so they end up dipping out. And then that's when they start telling each other, like, oh, man, I got stuff to tell you. Yeah, because also, which we forgot to mention, um, during that during that sand trap part, they had seen that other little cruiser. It was a cruiser down there. Yeah. And she's like, hey, I know this cruiser. Mm-hmm. This is from... And they were like, what? How you know that? What you know about this place? Yeah. What is this? That, and that's definitely important. Yeah. As, you're, as you explain, because she ends up having all these, like, memories of, like, you know, where she came from and mm-hmm. when her parents got taken away when yeah. she was a kid. And, like, she ends up having, like, the Oichi ends up being that person, essentially, like, that took her parents. And that she, she remembers, like like you said, all them different symbols and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, it was just kind of like, okay. You know, and, and I'm like, I'm not a writer or anything. But it's just, like, stuff like that that just kind of like, how, you know, it's just like, how do you fit this stuff into a, scr- a long-ass script and yeah. make it make sense without confusing people and making it too corny and all this stuff? And it's just like, I mean, I guess that's a way to do it. Like, I don't really have a problem with it, but yeah, it's just kind of like, well, it's just all coming together pretty early right now. Yeah. Like, I wasn't expecting two hours. Yeah, it was definitely like, a, well, we're kind of figuring out everything already. Like, mm-hmm. She's figuring out where she's coming from, and then you figure out she can shoot lightning at her damn hand. Like, it's only, a, it's only, it's literally only like one other person that can do yeah. that. So it's like, oh, okay, well, like, well. that answers that question. <laughs> It'd have been different. I felt like if it was like multiple people, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I was like, oh, okay, shit, that could be anybody. Yeah, she, she can be on this side, she can be on exactly. that side, or whatever. Like, but nope. Um, but yeah, they find they end up doing, they end up running off, and where they end up, um, they get on that ship. And they end up figuring out, okay, so we have this text that C-3PO can't say out loud. And Poe is like, oh, man, well, we can always go to my old friends on this planet, Kajimi, because I used to be in some dirty stuff. And then, then Finn's like, wait, what, man? You were, you were a bad guy, man. What? You didn't tell me. Why don't you tell me you used to do stuff when I wasn't around? <laughs> you had a life before this? What is wrong with you? I hate you right now. Living. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I quit. So they end up going to Kajimi, which is like, it was like nighttime, I guess. And uh, all these, and this is another planet that's like riddled with stormtroopers and stuff like that. As like, they're already getting chased. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just, you know, happen to run across Poe's old friends, you know, conveniently. Like. Uh, uh, long lost. Third Daft Punk, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. Had that like, you know, only one that got Daft Punk records in this <laughs> year. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. well, I, and this is a bad reference because I don't actually know about the Beatles. But what was the one Beatle that nobody really cares about? Um, George. Yeah, <laughs> no, she was that. She was that of Daft Punk. That's funny. Um, so they go to Kajimi because they know there's that guy. What was his name? Um, Kef Burr or something. No, it was, oh, no, nah, not Kef like, No, that's uh, where that's where they're supposed to go. It was like uh, I'm already reading. It. I'm already reading the notes. What, what was his? Name? It started with a B. It was like that, that was Bobo or something. Yeah. What was it? Babovsky. It was like, Bobovsky sent a message. He was funny, too. Yeah, he's like was. the little, like, only, he's just a he little, was a little alien mechanic, dude. yeah. Uh, damn, what was his name? But he was the one that was able to get the, go inside C-3, C-3PO's head to translate the stuff. Mm-hmm. But, comes with a twist. You're gonna wipe all C-3PO's memory out, because it's part of, like, the programming and stuff like that. It's like, damn, man, yeah. like, why y'all doing this to all these characters right now? <laughs> Which really didn't matter because most of the stuff that he remembered was just like friendship and bonds. Yeah. So I mean, but like that's it matters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like it matters, but because there was that one part too, because uh, Poe was like, "You tripping, man? We gonna wipe your shit? It's cool." Cause don't R two got your backup files? And he was like, "Boy, I never let an R two plug yeah. me up." But you tripping? He's like, R2 don't know what he's doing with my life. <laughs> R2's is famously on that bullshit. Yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was really funny. Oh, man. So, they end up getting the info out of him. But at the same time, there's like commotion going on outside. So, um, Poe and his friend, uh, what was her name? Oh, and the mechanic's name was Babu Freck. Babu Freck, yes, was the mechanic. What was his friend name? Um... I should never went to Wikipedia on their diet. <laughs> they don't have names. Because you owe them money. Because you was just talking about yeah, how see, they, they be talking asking about donating. So yeah, they know you ain't donating. Good grief. What was them dang characters' names? You talking about the Daft Punk chick? Yeah. yeah I don't know. If they I don't even remember, man. We had her playing. It's taking too long. Like, yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all do it. But anyway, yeah, they, they end up linking up. And... Oh, Zori Bliss. Oh, okay. What's her name? I think it was... Yeah, Zori Bliss is with it. Okay. So, yeah, they end up having that commotion outside. And, um, because even before, well, even before that, when they go to the friends, you know, he had like a little situation because, you know, he had dipped off on them back in the day. And Ray and Zori like have a little confrontation. They're like, oh, you the girl that got a high bounty on your head. We could pay off everything if we get you. And they're like, nah, man, you ain't gonna do none of that shit. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't be, a, I don't understand how, like, I mean, I understand that like, people know, you know, all these big situations going on, but it's mm-hmm. just like, but you also know that she's like super strong. You would assume, so why are you even considering trying to like take and, her in? And you are literally telling us that. You telling five people who, her whole crew, like, you know, fuck y'all. I actually want this yeah. stuff. And it's like, okay, but you know we're not just about to let you do that though, right? Exactly. Like, I mean, you're going to have a hard enough time fighting her, fighting her, even just to capture her. But mm-hmm. then she got her whole crew with her. Clearly, they're like, not just going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. You can do that. Oh, we're going to get on up out of here, man. You know, thanks, man. we we hit you up later. Uh, <laughs> so they end up getting the information out of C-3PO, which ends up, they figure out the... Um, the the location is what I think that's what I was saying earlier. There's a Kef Burr or whatever to get that new um the wayfinder. And so um they end up basically they end up leaving through, you know, da 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 running off. And um Poe was like, Come on, Zori, come with me And she's like, No, I can't do that, man. Blah mm-hmm. blah blah, but I got this golden ticket for you that I was gonna use but because I don't really care anymore and you're here. I'll just give it to you. I'm like, eh, don't get that sucker, yo. <laughs> Go to take it out of hell. Like, why are you doing this? Like, uh, like, it's just too easy. He's like, no, man, don't give it to me. Yeah, but I'll take it, though. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, well, you don't got no choice. I'm giving it to you. You're going to take it? Shut up. Hey, get out of here. It's like, oh my I'm about God. to go make this last album and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, she gives it to him, whatever. So, and it was a basically a golden ticket to 
any like blockade or like road highway space highway you don't have to worry about people policing you and stuff i like thought that. it was for um imperial stuff well yeah ba- basically that's, that's who's blocking up the the highway traffic and stuff okay okay I yeah you. that's what i mean yeah i, I mean no nah, and i wasn't like trying to correct you i just didn't know yeah if that was what it was like what was the actual significance of that the um coin Bales or back, cause yeah, cause like you said, the token. Imperials like run so much of the galaxy. Yeah. So I got this bus token, cause we'll take the bus <laughs> anyway. You got I got this group time, bro. bro. Where, where you trying to go, bro? I got this Uber for you, dog. Got this group time for you. So <laughs> they end up, um, so they end up getting off of the planet, and um, they don't even really remember what the hell happens after this. After they leave, yeah. Uh, well, they have that whole fight. Before they get off the planet, her and uh, Ray and Kylo have yeah, another that's like what, yeah. mind swap. See, again. I'm getting all this stuff like so, like because it's not. And I think that what was like taking me out of it was that where <clears throat> they wasn't really ever together, but they were her and Kylo. Yeah, and they yeah. was like touching stuff, like you said, they could like actually grab physical mm-hmm. objects, and then they was like they was like literally having a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they was fighting and shit, and so. Because they end up figuring out they was on Kajimi because of that, that little fight they had. Well, no, that they went to uh, Kylo and them figured out that a different way, and then after they got that ticket from her, because because they pulled up, then after they got that ticket from her, then they got on that ship with they got on his Kylo ship, and then. He figured out where they was because they knew that oh, they was there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then, because cause he got off of the ship and she ended up getting on it. Exactly. That's right. That's yeah. right. Cause they, yeah. How the hell did they figure out they was there? How did they figure out they was there? Because, uh, wait, was that? Was that during that part? Because they had captured, they went to go get Chewie. That's why she gave him the ticket because... They found out that Chewie was still on the bus. Yeah. So they went on the they ship to go that. get Chewie. Yeah, she felt and then they spirit. split up. And then Ray went to Kylo's little quarters, and the rest of the crew went to go get Chewie. Yeah. <clears throat> and then so when that's how they ended up getting. Off. She's like, "Go get your friend. It's whatever. Take the ticket. Go get your boy." Okay. Like, okay. Cool. Thanks. We do need to go get our boy. Good. And then great. they got on there, and then then that's when they was like, "Oh shit!" Kylo's like, "Oh, they on the bus. We we got to get yeah. back on the bus." <clears throat> that's okay yeah I, did, I definitely was just like man how the hell did they get there <laughs> they knocked down because he knocked down a thing and they had uh, Vader's old helmet yeah and he was scorched like, ass oh helmet. shit she in my house she in my damn bedroom go get her now <laughs> <laughs> she gonna find my porn stash man hurry up man <laughs> delete my oh delete my, my uh, history brother got come on got all raised photos in his room <laughs> old creep they got hella nudes <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, okay, that's what it was. They end up, yeah, they end up mental fighting again, they, mm-hmm. like you just said. Then they end up Poe and them find Chewbacca. They have a situation where they uh they end up get, but they end up getting caught though, right? Is this where they get caught, or is that later? Uh, no, that's part of it. That's when they get caught, and well, maybe that's before. Maybe that's before because that's how they find out they on Kajimi. No, nah, I don't know. Because then they end up talking to that dude, and he's the spy. He let him loose, and then... Yes, okay, so... Okay, that's what happens. Shit. Look at that. Okay, so they get... She ends up getting on the shit. They're going to be she, like, man, we ain't never listening yeah, to it. exactly. <laughs> God, I'm so like... This is why I wish we could have did it, like, right after. Um, This way, okay, so they got on the ship. And then she and they split off. She goes to his room. She finds Chewbacca stuff and she finds the dagger because he mm-hmm. had the dagger that they need for finding how to get to that planet or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, figuring out the finding the wayfinder. I mean, and um, then like you said, and she ends up knocking Vader's helmet over. She's like, "Oh yeah, he's a, he's in she's in there." Da da da. They end up finding Chewbacca. They end up getting caught because they was like fighting for a minute, but then they end up getting swarmed. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, General Hux. Ends up being like, I'm gonna take care of this, and he shoots some stormtroopers, and he he's like, I'm the spy, or no, they're like, you're the spy, whatever, da da da, and they're like freaking out and stuff. Because he was like, I don't care if y'all win, 
but Kylo got to lose. Yeah. Which is like that uh, Russell Westbrook meme. It's like, man, y'all niggas tripping. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, Cause yeah, Because it's like, yeah, but that's the same thing in this situation right mm-hmm. now. Like, there's nobody else to beat him. So yeah. if we win, if he loses, we win. So yeah. You on our side, like, shut up. That was like, that was goofy too as far as like writing. Because like, I don't want y'all to win. I just want him to lose. <laughs> yeah. And he was just kind of like a little, another selfish person. Yeah, that's why I'm glad he got smoked. Yeah, <laughs> because he ends up, he ends up, he tells Finn to shoot him um, in the arm or whatever. He's like, why? He's like, because he'll figure out, da 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 da. He'll know I was a spy or whatever. But he ends up shooting him in the leg. I guess so he couldn't like chase him, I guess, was his thinking. They really yeah, didn't say why no. Finn shot him in the leg. I'm like, okay. And then later, uh, they end up getting back on the Millennium Falcon since the they end up taking it from. But they end up taking the Falcon back, and um, Ray is still trying to get back to him. And then, um, but yeah, she ends up getting back to him. But Kylo ends up getting back on the ship, and they have like a little like spat again on the ship. And they're like, "You gonna figure this out?" And he had already like kind of told her though that. Um, she was Palpatine's granddaughter, or whatever. Mm-hmm. and then you're like, "Oh, well, the, there's the plot. I guess I already kind yeah. of figured it out." But here it is. So you figure out she's his granddaughter, and then like he's like, "We're gonna f- kill them together, or whatever." Because Kylo's having all this like back and forth. Like he wants to still do his own thing, but sneak around Palpatine and stuff. And yeah. die, which I'm like, I don't really understand how you think Palpatine don't know nothing because. You know, he just kind of, he seems to know every damn thing. He's been whispering in your ear for the past, like, eight years. Yeah. You know, like, like, the last five movies, he's been, like, <laughs> talking to you in your head. So, I'm pretty sure he knows what you're thinking at this point. And what I forgot to mention earlier also was that he got, um, at the beginning of the movie, when you figure out Palpatine's alive, and Kylo figures it out because he goes to Exegol or whatever, and then, like, Palpatine tells him like yeah Snoke and all them like Vader and voice and ISW he was hearing that was all me mm-hmm. and, completely made up and it was kind of like okay so that was like another convenient way to get Snoke situation because in Last Jedi well because in Force Awakens you figure out about Snoke you're like okay who is this guy and then Last Jedi he ends up just getting killed like super easy and it was mm-hmm. like but he never like does anything besides just be there yeah because i didn't know that that was one of the things that had went over my head it was like snoop just snow you just fake boy i, I made that and i was yeah. like oh, damn, no, I got it. Snoop, yeah yeah and it's damn near like not even worth knowing that because yeah. it was just the way he they took him out was just like okay and that was like where like the two director thing probably messed that up because they make him seem like he's about to be like the next villain and stuff, like mm-hmm. behind everything. And he's up getting chopped up. So it's like, okay, that was a waste of damn time. Yeah. And then that, then you figure out in this one that Palpatine just made him up for his fun. Like, okay, mm-hmm. this was stupid. <laughs> for the sake of like plot, basically, or just being like, all right, I need somebody. It can't be me, but I need it to be me. Yeah. <laughs> but he's going to look kind of like me, though. Um, so yeah, you figure that out way earlier. So, all right, back to where we were freaking at. They, um, they end up taking the Falcon off and they like shoot like the thrusters in everybody face and like Kylo's like forcing his feet on the ground and stuff, which is like mm-hmm. pretty cool, whatever. But Ray ends up getting off of the ship and whatever and they take the Falcon and they end up going to, um, the next planet or whatever, Kefbur, which is where they got like the, um. It looked, it made it seem like it was like indigenous people, but it ends up being like those group of like ex stormtroopers. You figure out, mm-hmm. which was cool. That um, one, it was like more black people in the movie, and then you figure out that there's like other people like Finn that were able to like stop being brainwashed essentially yeah. by the stormtrooper life and stuff like that. Which I don't even understand because you figure out that I mean, because he's talking to the girl, or whatever. And you're like, okay, I guess I didn't know there there were girl stormtroopers. Maybe there were before. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. all of them just look alike. Yeah, and, because I thought that they was all clones. Yeah, which is, that's a thing too. But that's not, because because they also was talking about how they was snatching up kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. They was like, yeah, we got that dude. We took that whole 
little group of, group of kids. That's yeah. what uh, Zori was saying. They came mm-hmm. through and snatched up a bunch of kids a couple exactly. years ago. So yeah, it's like I don't. And I, I'd have to go back and figure out again why how they do the cloning. Is it just like they just do specific ones to multiply enough people or what? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because then like Finn being a traitor to the order or whatever. And being just like a regular dude, you know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. don't really, I, I didn't really understand that. I don't know anything. <laughs> but, yeah, they, but they go to Kefbert. They end up finding those people. They find the remains of the Death Star, which is where the um, Wayfinder is. And she puts out the little, she ends up finding like the compass thing coming out the blade or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. She's like, I just feel it's so significant. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I know it's something. And then when they get there, she's like, oh, it's this thing right here on the bottom corner. You got to yeah. pull out this little tab Ooh. and <laughs> build this whole Lego Star time Wars do, kit. Time to do math. Freaking compass. Um, I hated those things. They don't know how to use a compass. But, uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, so she, like, puts it to the Death Star that's, like, laying in the water. And um, she, like, finds it, like, the compass, like, grooves, like, working with to the Death Star, basically. Yeah, and I'm like, so, man, who took the time to do that? Like, who thought of that? The same person that fucking made up a whole, a whole person to train another person. To secretly be training them himself. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the most methodical villain in the Man, world. So much thought. Palpatine been working on this shit for like 40 years. This <laughs> plan worked since like 1975. So Yo, he was born making this movie. Like, you know it's what? crazy, I'm about to just, hey, He made it like a book, basically. He's been writing this book since he <laughs> oh, was yeah. like 15. This is great. This is really going to work. Okay, this then I'm going to have this fake ass nigga go come through it. And this <laughs> other person. And this is going to be me the whole time. I'm going to take the mask off and I'm going to reveal it's me this whole time. It's going to be the best, bro. It's going to be the biggest reveal ever. I'm awesome. I'm so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> They go and they meet up with those people when Finn talks to him. The ship is the Millennium Falcon's fucked up again. Mm-hmm. The ships never end up because being they, okay. the landing gear was messed up and they had basically crash landed. And <laughs> so then the girl, the main girl, I can't. What was her name? I don't remember her name either. Jana. Jana was her name. Mm. That was her name, as Wiki says. Rough. Then. Uh, <laughs> So they have like Finn and her have that conversation about being stormtroopers, and then they end up figuring out they can help fix the ship because they got spare parts and stuff. Yeah, and also that they have a ship, like a boat, basically not like a spaceship, but a yeah, water what ship. was it, a skipper or something, yeah, because, a skitter? <clears throat> because uh, the Death Star is like in the ocean. Yeah, but the the um, the waves were all treacherous. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> treacherous seas. And it was like, yeah, we got a skipper, and then Ray took the skipper she after did. they, yeah. I they, don't get time to wait on y'all. Yeah, because they, they, they having a friendship moment, and they bonding, so Ray's like, all right, y'all bond, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to keep this movie going get forward. On, yeah, get on, uh, get on along with the story. <laughs> she went on there, and then basically had to, like, climb through the whole fucking raggedy shit, raggedy death star to, um get to the other wayfinder because that's where the other one was. Yeah. And then when she got there, who was that other chick? What are you talking about? Was that just a ghost? Because remember when she first found it, there was somebody else in there with two sabers. Some chick was uh, in there with two that sabers. That was just, okay, yeah, cause she, yeah, like you said, she goes in there and she finds the wayfinder after skidding around. Mm-hmm. And, um, she was about she to just leave, it was just a vision she had because she kept talking about she had all these dreams about like and she tells Finn that like she had the dream about being like on the throne. So that was her. Yeah. Basically. Oh, that okay. was just what she perceived herself that her forced vision of what she would look like if she was the Sith Lord. Ah, okay, okay. Because I really couldn't tell. Like when I was like, Yeah, I they made her look a little different. Yeah, okay. And then after that, um she got over that, woke up. And Kylo was there at yeah. that point. And that's when he was like, nah, you ain't going if unless you going with me. Crash. Yeah. And he broke the other Tom Tom. <laughs> so <laughs> and so they they had another little moment and then that's where we get to that fight scene that you was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Where they was jumping all over the Death Star and like force flipping. Cause how did they get there? 
Because they were inside the broken Death Star, but they got onto like that. Because it the, was just broken and they was just fighting and falling off. Oh, the that's, yeah, because he ends up jumping down mm-hmm. and she, okay. Yeah. I was just like, how did they get there? They ended up just getting, just, the fight just kind of led them outside, yeah. basically. Because there wasn't really an old for them. Every piece that they were standing on was like half broken and shit anyway. Yeah. It was just like chunks and bits of of ship that they was fighting on. So, um, so yeah, they ended up fighting for like cool five minutes or something, mm-hmm. flipping around and everything. It was pretty cool. And they had a moment of, of bonding in that, in that scene too, because then that was like, that was like the last time that you get to hear about, um, uh, Princess Leia. Yeah. Cause she whispered and she's like, man, he was like, what? Mom, and, <laughs> not now. I'm still then, upset. Uh, <laughs> And then in that moment, he was like, man, fuck this. I quit. And he dropped his saber. And Ray picked it up and, like, stabbed him. Yeah. And then she was like, what have I done? Mm-hmm. I can't believe I stabbed. I heard Princess lay up my head, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's your mom. I can't believe this. I killed you. No. And then she was like, just kidding. I didn't kill you. Yeah. And then she healed him up. Time to Steven Universe, she real quick. Yeah, licked her hand and <laughs> held up his little death stab. And then he was sitting there like. Oh man, this is wild. This is a trail. I'm stressed, bro. I got it. <laughs> he was like, fuck, what am I even doing right now? And you know what's funny is like if he just got left there, like the boys probably would have been like, Well, that's Welcome. cool. He like, that me anyway. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is pretty much what happened, because after that then he he basically uh cause yeah, after that he stopped being Kylo basically. Yeah, well before that though. Cause Leia has her little like like you just said he, she has her like last gasp of like force life, and she tells them both like chill out. But Ray ends up stabbing him because she's like this is where you're kind of like okay so is Ray like about to turn to the dark side and yeah. Kylo is he really gonna be like the good one in all this? And then like you said she heals him, but then he like stands up or whatever because she leaves. Yeah. I mean, he was about to leave, and then, oh, yeah, because then that's when he ran into uh, yeah, Han. Yeah, daddy came Pops back. came, was, what's up, boy? He <laughs> was like, what to do, guy? I ain't see you in a minute, boy. How much did Harrison Ford get paid to do that, like, one minute? Of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They lame, bro. I didn't even recognize him, boy. He getting old, boy. Yeah, he, he old like, as hell. Shit, is that Harrison Ford? Huh? That was cool, though. Yeah, because he was like, you just a memory. He's like, yeah, but. I'm your memory <laughs> keeping me alive. This whole time, don't you get it, boy? It's you, not me. <laughs> oh fuck! His mind was getting blown the whole movie. Yeah. Like, oh my this is God. wild, man. What's happening? This is man. crazy. Oh, you uh, know. <laughs> so they had a nice moment because Force Awakens, he kills his dad mm-hmm. in like the most like un happily way he's just like i'm gonna kill you i don't like you whatever yeah. kicks him off the side and um he comes back and kylo's like you know what i don't like being bad anymore mm-hmm. and he chucks his lightsaber in the ocean i'm like man somebody gonna find him over again <laughs> what is <laughs> like, it it's tight boy <laughs> It's like it's gonna be like a little kid, you know. Yeah. They find like a gun. And they, oh my god! Like, wow, what's up? What this is let crazy. Swinging his <laughs> right like, in his yeah, face, slice off his buddy head. <laughs> oh my god! What have I done? Oh my god! Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, he chucks it because he realizes that he don't want to be bad no more. Essentially, mm-hmm. and um, so next we get to they back on the uh, base. And um, this was another thing where it was like, okay, what was the point? Because R2 ends up giving C-3PO his memories back. Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, that's cool, (laughs) I guess. But C-3PO can't, like, he he didn't remember stuff. But he ends up getting his memory back. But it was only to, like, a point before, like, the movie basically started. He was like, I'm about to go on this mission with everybody. Yeah, R2 was like, yeah, bro, that already happened. We're done with that, bro. (laughs) That scene's over with. Sorry, my see we didn't back up your files before you uh, before you left. Yeah. So you got a couple of days ago, and um, and what, what oh, that was okay. So they end up going back, but Ray ends up figuring out that she didn't need the wayfinder to get to Exegol at all because it was like already like in her head or whatever. It was mm-hmm. just like okay, 
movie stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so they end up, she goes and Palpatine, like, no, 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 boy. no, that's not what happened. She had got, because she got Kylo's, oh, uh, when she went to, she was talking to Luke and stuff, and he was like, no, you tripping. Oh, damn, yeah, you I'm got, tripping. It was, was a like, whole you, thing. He, he was like, uh, no, you got everything you need. She's like, no, I don't. I threw it away. Because she was about to throw her. Because she had a moment, too, where she was like, man, fuck this. I'm yeah. blowing up my saber, too. And it wasn't even hers to begin with. So that's when Luke popped up again. Yeah. Like, Damn, because you're going to throw my okay. shit like you. You're going to fuck my saber. Some are skipping the whole he thing. Like, he was like, oh, you fuck my saber, huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. And then he was like, nah, you good, bro. But you got everything you need right here. And then he gave her Leia's old saber from a long time ago. And she gave up her... Jedi life or whatever, which that's not something that I <clears throat> that I know about. Yeah, I don't know how I skipped that whole part. Well, you know, they jump. Yeah, because she took. Yeah, because she left and she took Kyle. Like you said, she took Kylo's ship. Mm-hmm. Like, she took his. Everything. Well, she took Luke's old ship at that point, but she took the wayfinder that Kylo. Well, had. when he left Kylo, though, she took his ship and he left. She left Kylo by himself. Yeah, well, that was... Yeah, but I'm just talking about once she got there and she had her moment and she yeah. blew up his ship and she was like, I'm stuck. And Luke yeah. was like, no, you're not. Here's this old ship yeah. that I used to fly. And then, and then basically, because cause everybody else was on, on the base and everybody was like getting to a point where they was figuring out that Leia was gone, basically. And then... uh randomly as everybody's on there everybody's at the base mourning and crying and yeah. stuff um ray starts sending a transmission mm-hmm. and it's like oh, and it was like oh shit she's showing us where to yeah, go yeah that's what happens and then they all started rallying the troops and get together be buried in mind on this boy man we just remember different parts yeah. <laughs> different parts of shit but uh but then yeah they all started trying to get all that shit together they're like okay we we all going to exit go we gotta yeah. we gotta all fight and it was like, well, we got 10 people. What the fuck is we going to do? Like, it's we got, enough. We got, <laughs> it was like, we got four ships and two babies in the back. We can't do that, man. We got a minivan out here. Man, my cousin Ray Ray kids, man, they can't go out here, bro. Yeah, that's when, because uh, basically Poe and Finn become the new generals, basically. Yeah. Calling the shots. Yeah, because they figure out Leia, you know, dies. Mm-hmm. Um, they have that moment. And then, uh, so then after that, they all start getting ready, and then Poe is sending Lando. He's like, all right, go see who all can help us find anybody that's trying yeah. to help. We're going to figure it out. And then they all go to, they all follow her, basically. Mm-hmm. And she gets there, and then that's where we are in the story now. Yeah, yeah, and that's where I was leading was where Palpatine was like, that's all good. I want them all to come here because mm-hmm. I'll kill everybody. Yeah, <laughs> da, da, da. yeah I, kill, I kill everybody, and the whole point is for... Ray to kill me so she can become the new emperor. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> and he was like, which was like kind of a goofy thing. Like, I mean, I guess in a sense he felt like he would still be there anyway because he's never really going to die somehow or whatnot. But it was that know. same idea that basically was the opposite of that with all the Jedis. Because in that one scene in the beginning, which we didn't ever talk about, <laughs> when Rey was trying to find herself, she was like chanting that, be with me. Yeah. Be with me. She was trying to reach all the other Jedis, old Jedis that mm-hmm. was gone and shit. So it was basically that same idea. Like, she killed, if she kills Palpatine, then the, the Sith, is going to live through her yeah. in that transference. It was basically like a seance, really. Yeah. That was see. pretty much what it was. Those, <laughs> Creepy. Because those weird little people was chanting, like, ooh, good die. Mm-hmm. Ooh, good, whatever the fuck they were saying. <laughs> they was like chanting and stuff. And she's like, no, I'm not doing that. It is weird because it's like, all you guys are just out here. Like, all you weird Sith hooded people. Like, do y'all ever eat? Like, there's a lot of y'all just on this planet. Like, what do y'all do, like, for food? Like, they just hang out. There's probably droids, honestly. I feel man, like that's probably like. It was weird. Like, I didn't Roger, know. Roger, but he turned that <laughs> off because it was annoying. <laughs> so then, All right, guys. He took out their voice box. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so weird, though. I was just like, who are these people? Like, mm-hmm. I understand they're, like, your underlings, but it's just kind of goofy. Cause yeah, because it became, like, a whole and... ritual thing. And they and they, and that's why I was like, 
we should have had some kind of introduction to them because they were significant in that way had things played out the way that Palpatine wanted them to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then it would have made a it would have made a difference in who are these people or not mm-hmm. because she would have ended up being the emperor or whatever, blah, blah, blah. He was so, in and Palpatine is like moving around on that robot thing where it was like he was just like hanging off of yeah. it. It is just like <laughs> it was just attached to his back. Yeah, like, floating in the like around. some Doctor Octopus stuff or something. Yeah, for sure. But um yeah, so she ends up talking to him and she's like like you just re- explained about transferring the Sith souls and spirits and shit. Yep. And um you end up seeing Kylo ends up, he's like, nope, I'm not bad anymore, so I'm been now. Mm-hmm. Which was, like, pretty cool. And this was, like, one of, like, the subtle things I noticed in the movie that was really good to me was that he, one, he changed his clothes, and he was just wearing, like, a Henley shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he was trying to get, you know, he was trying to get to Ray to help and, you know, kill Palpatine and stuff. Yeah. And, um... I and I think at that point all he had was yeah all he had was a gun. But yeah, he just had a blaster. He but you I don't know you remember that part where he was trying to jump down and he um he ends up grabbing onto like that big ass link chain and he's like ow yeah. or whatever and yeah. I was like it's so crazy because like he would have never just said something like that before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that like humanized like regular mm-hmm. guy was trying to red- he was that was his redeeming quality. It was like his moment of redemption, basically. So it was like, okay, we got to make him relatable now. Yeah. So he got to hurt himself. He's like, <laughs> oh, another breath. <laughs> the wind out of me. So and that was that was pretty cool to me. Because I was like, it really showed he was like a new person now. Mm-hmm. And he ends up um, getting into like a little scuffle with a whole bunch of um, Sith people. Yeah, ends up doing like some gun work. So he's and he end up looking like his dad at that point, like yeah. shooting fools and stuff. And which fighting, is cool. he was still using the force and stuff too. But, yeah, but then and then they end up basically overpowering him because it was like six, and they started whooping his ass for like mm-hmm. a hot second. And then of course they had that mind meld moment. Yeah, where they him just and like Ray standing there because always uh, it seems like that always be like so y'all just gonna watch him stand there like. Y'all trying to capture him, and he's clearly just standing yeah. there, like in his like, in his zone. Doing? Y'all just gonna let him stand there for two minutes, it's like a Dragon Ball Z moment, like okay, yeah. Because Ray dropped the um, dropped the saber, that extra saber that she had, she gave it to him behind mm-hmm. her back, and which she, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was because then he started whooping their ass, <laughs> and then he got them out the way, and he basically ended up <clears throat> pulling up on Ray and, and old Palpatine, Palpatine at old the spot. Palp man. And he was like, oh, yeah, what's up, y'all? I'm so glad that y'all both is here because I'm taking your life force, bitch. You're yeah. mine now. <laughs> he, his little decomposed body and the, got composed yeah. again. Yeah, that was weird. It I was, was like, It was recomposed. <laughs> he was like, mm, this is life force. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, so he started whooping up on him. And I mean, well, he drained their life force, so they was pretty much whooped from that. Yeah, and they was sitting there. And they was they was zapped for like a cool couple minutes. Because mm-hmm. then he was because then after that, meanwhile, while they doing all that, everybody else is fighting those battle stars, yeah, those the ships, Death Star ships, or yeah, battleships, uh, planet destroyers, the basically. Yeah, and they was up there, and they was actually getting whooped. A little bit too, because we didn't even talk about Finn and his little scene of that where they was yeah. on the command deck and they had to figure out which signal was cause controlling they, everybody. Yeah, because they didn't have no way. They had to GPS the same way that they GPS there. They had to GPS to get out. Mm-hmm. So they was like, well, "Okay, we gotta control. I mean, we gotta destroy the comm system." Yeah, and then they switched the link because because uh. What's the name? Sith and them figured out that that's what they was trying to do. Mm-hmm. So they switched the satellites, and then they had to go basically to the ship that everybody was on, the command ship, and try to take out that satellite, <clears throat> which didn't go well at first. <laughs> they was having a hard time with that at first because shit, like I like we said, they only had like ten people, with like yeah, five. It was ships. getting ran up they on. Was getting, bad. Yeah, they was getting handled, and then so at that time when. Palpatine took their life force. He started fucking up their ships. Yeah, he 
He was like, yeah, he was like raining exactly, everybody. Yeah, 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 exactly. They was like, oh, sure. And it was like, <laughs> it was basically just like a big ass EMP mm-hmm. because <clears throat> everybody's ships was falling and uh, Snap ended up dying at that point yeah. too. Yeah. He ended up getting killed or his ship blew up. He snap, no. And I was like, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then, and then, so after that, then. Uh, Kylo woke up first, mm-hmm. or Ben. I guess you gotta call him Ben now. Yeah, yeah person. He woke up first, and he started fighting him a little bit. Palpatine flicked him off like yeah. a little bug, <laughs> and he flew <laughs> off into the distance. And then, shit, what happened next? Oh, shit. then so and then after that, basically, they uh after he stopped uh, EMP in a, a whole little fight. They uh, they got the ship and blew up that uh, like blew up the comm system and that whole like, yeah that whole like fight air fight started to turn the tides or whatever yeah because at some point the uh, resistance ended up getting like all these people end up coming yeah like, it wasn't it even was that resistant. big ass end game yeah that same end game thing where everybody pulled up and it was like five million ships and it was like Whoa, yeah, it like was Lando. rapping Lando yeah Lando was like I got the boys yeah. out. There, I mean, also like, everybody knew Leia was dead too. They're like, "Well, this is it. Might mm-hmm. as well do something." Yeah. Like, so yeah, they had like hundreds of ships now fighting. So they end up turning the tide. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Um, man, what really? How does this really finish? That, like, yeah, I don't know. That's because what I was Ray about. ends up finally waking up because Palpatine starts messing with her, and he's like, you know, talking shit, whatever. Um. I can't even really remember exactly like what happened because like Kylo or Ben ends up like going back to her or something. Okay, or... so well, no, yeah, he got flicked off and right. he ends up falling off the edge, so he right. wasn't even there for a minute. Nah, and then Palpatine and Ray starts fighting because then Ray wakes up and then they fight and she's like, "Nah, I ain't done." Yeah, but that's when she started hearing them voices. In that's her when head. the Jedi's was like, yeah. "Get up, come on, Craig, yeah. get up, Craig, <laughs> that's what that was like. get up, Craig, come on, Craig." And then yeah. she got up and she was like, "Nah, I ain't never done. I ain't mm-hmm. never scared." And she did the whole like X yeah. with the sabers and mm-hmm. and sent her electricity. Well, it was it was Palpatine's electricity. Yeah, she he back. She married it back yeah. to him. He ends up. Basically she wiped him out. Fucking dissolving into nothing. And then that used up the last of her force. Mm-hmm. And then she ended up basically dying. Yeah, and then yeah. that's when Ben came back. Yeah, and he's like, Ugh. damn. You, uh. <laughs> it was that him walking back to her. Yeah. <laughs> him getting back over there. And then he, he basically did the same to him. Her, that yeah, he, she did to him and saved her life. He had to like totally like revive his, her life. Like, yeah, he had to she, bring her back to life. And then, so that is, I guess that was like my first time really feeling like it was some convenient writing or whatever it was confusing because then when she realized what he had done, she had like kissed him, and I was like, wait, what? So y'all yeah. been in love this whole time? Was this like a love thing? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't really understand that part. And I was kind of like, uh, but I thought you and Finn was in love or kind of not. Yeah. It was like a team. It was like love a triangle. high friendship love. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess. All right. Uh, R.I.P. Ben. Yeah. And, he just uh, ended up falling over, which that was sad though. Well, yeah, he, he died. And then that was a, that was when, cause his body did that forced disappearance thing too. Did him, it? Yeah. Him and Leia did it at the same time. I thought Leia's did. No, nah, she was beginning. still. No, nah, she was still. They just had the sheet over her, and then when I thought, yeah, I thought she had died after, uh, like when Han had came back. No, she was dead, but her body didn't. They put the sheet over. Her, oh, and okay. then she did. Then the sheet fell flat at the same time. He his clothes. Oh, okay, you right. His clothes right. fell flat. So no, nah, right. she was dead the whole time from that point, but. Then they both yeah. did that disappearance thing where they was like, hey, I'm gone. Yeah, that's right. And his clothes, right. his Henley shirt, as you call it, yeah. <laughs> was sitting there. Like a Target shirt right there. <laughs> so, and, and all the while, though, 
in in this like space battle, like Finn and the and Jana from the new that planet they had just went on, they were doing a lot of like got on the ship and they took they had like those weird like bull weird animal things they were yeah. using instead of speeders and yeah. fighting the uh, that Empire. was when they first landed because they was like jam up the speeders don't let them get on the ship yeah, they, they, was like, they, they, not, yeah. <laughs> they was using them that was a different animal from the mandalorian animal yeah that that Quill uses i just call them bulls because that's yeah. what they basically they were. was horses the other ones they i don't know man space animals are crazy <laughs> but yeah that's what they was they was riding on them uh they was riding cattle yeah and so they couldn't do nothing with that and that's pretty much how they, they how they got the jump on the sits Mm-hmm. first but then after that then that's when they started getting their ass kicked or whatever and also when you're talking about like finn being like in love with ray possibly and because you hadn't watched like last jedi was that the asian girl um rose mm-hmm. and i shouldn't say it like that but rose trying to describe her if you didn't know yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. but like she um they were having like a romantic thing in last jedi Mm, which a that's lot interesting. Of, like, and, like a lot of people like hated her like her, her character and I stuff. I got a pop figure of her. It was like a big controversy blah blah blah. Anyway, but um cuz they also it wasn't like and I guess it wasn't like they was in love. They was just they was just super bonding real hard. Yeah. Her, him and what was you call what was your name? Gina? They Gina, was like, yeah, and they, they was, was having, having like, like a, cool, a little like, thing. It and was, the, God, we from the same, we from mm-hmm. the streets, good. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Wow, yeah. we really did it. So it was a bunch of like, it was a bunch of just like, Emotions. like you said, yeah, <laughs> high level friendships going around. It was like, oh, okay, that's what y'all want. All right. Um. So, and they end up, uh, yeah, so Finn and old girl was like, y'all need to get out of here. Like, tell all the resistance, get off of that Death Star ship. Because they have to blow the, it up. Yeah. And, um, so they end up like throwing that grid, um, BB-8 helps them throw their grenade into that bunker and ends up like exploding the whole command mm-hmm. center ship and they end up getting off and stuff like that. Because that, at that time, t- well after that, that's when uh, Lando and them pulled up. Yeah. And he was, because Poe was like, man, they was like, Finn, can you believe it, yeah. man? What's happening? He was like, they was like, Finn didn't never get back on this ship, bro. Who are you talking to? Nobody yeah. talking to himself because that dude didn't get back. And he was like, oh, I gotta go save him. My ship. And it was like, boy, it's about to blow up right now. You ain't fast enough. And then that's when Rapping Lando came through and was like, no, I got the fastest ship on the block. I got this. Rapping Lando. And he came through and picked him up. And then, that's crazy. That was pretty Old much Billy D. That that pretty much wrapped it up at that point. They yeah. saved Finn and that and Gina or whatever. And then Gina. And then they left. And they went back to Nabu or whatever that planet you said, whatever they was the base of operations was. Yeah, much. they went. Yeah, they went back to the uh, resistance camp, and they was all having their moment and stuff like that, and everybody was hugging and stuff. And it wasn't as much sadness going on because they lost a lot of people. I guess it's also like you used to people dying. Yeah, maybe, you but, know what time it was at this point. Like this was their final battle, so you know it was going to be some dead bodies at the yeah. end. Yeah. So yeah, they had all their moments and stuff, and. Um. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Like they just had like that moment, and mm-hmm. then you end up like shifting to uh, Ray goes back to her home on Tatooine, mm-hmm. and um, she ends up burying Luke and Leia's lightsabers in the sand or whatever. Like force buries them. Like yeah. it was pretty weird. And then like that random like when she pulls out a new lightsaber and it was like gold or like yellow mm-hmm. and I was like well, that's pretty tight like, yeah that was cool we'll she probably never see you use yeah, it yeah exactly it was just like that last little like yeah she's still gonna be a Jedi but she her own Jedi mm-hmm. or whatever it's like nomads or whatever <clears throat> and uh, that lady comes out of nowhere and she's like who are you mm-hmm. and then she's like um, I'm Ray and she's like Ray who and then she sees Luke and Leia's ghost. Forest goes and she's like, I'm Ray Skywalker. I thought she was gonna say, I thought she was just gonna go ahead and be like, I'm Palpatine. Dog. Yeah, I'm my family. Oh! <laughs> don't say that. But then I guess then that would have been the rise of Palpatine and not Skywalker. Yeah, I guess. But. And, and it was a weird way, and I, I liked how they did that part of like it being like at the very end of her saying it. But it was also weird, and I I didn't think about it too much until like reading on Reddit. It was like, well. You would have thought that she would have saw B 
Ben's ghost too. Mm-hmm. But that would have also been kind of weird though, because if you go like take the Skywalker name, yeah. and Dana like incest at that point, yeah, for sure. <laughs> which wouldn't be off for the the movies. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that's the movie as we tried to explain. <laughs> that was our version of it. I feel oh, like that God. was better. I'd rather watch that, watch that. <laughs> especially if they, especially if they would have had them, if they would have uh, had John Witherspoon tomorrow. Get up, Chris! Uh, like, Come on, yeah. Chris! Especially because he, he obviously has passed away now, so he would. It made sense no, for him to be goodness. a ghost. That so I, I wish I. I need to learn how to edit videos man. and stuff for real, cause I need to make that. Man, we can Get do up, that, Craig. man. Come on, Craig. That'd be so. No. That'd be so funny. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. That'd be tight. Yeah, we can. That's on the plans. We there. Go viral for memes, man. We need to. That's how we got to do it. Oh man, yeah. I think now, but I think you'll still want to watch the. Oh uh, uh, yeah, for sure. I'm. I'm. I'm more interested now, honestly, because that was a good movie. I liked it, and yeah. I and I want to go back and watch the sequel trilogy. But I still gotta finish like the prequel trilogy and yeah. whatever is the first trilogy and the and Blade trilogy, <laughs> and, you know whatever. So I'm, I'm definitely and still interested. I'm not gonna put it down just yet. I know that I will eventually. Like I'm gonna be like, all right, I've yeah. had enough. Especially knowing that this is pretty much the end mm-hmm. as far as like the movies go and stuff. Well, I mean it's supposed to be more, oh. uh, but I don't know when. Right. few years. Yeah, it'll be, I don't know what it'll it's be the be, end though. for a minute, basically. Yeah. For at least for the next couple, like you said, next couple of years. So this story plot, though. I got time to get all caught up yeah. before the next <laughs> <year. clears throat> three, two, three hour movies or whatever, yeah. however long they are. But, um, yeah, that was cool, man. Even though we forgot some stuff. That was I mean, funny. That's how memory is. Yeah, for sure. And it's we like, had a whole day, you know, yeah. and, and shit, you had stuff going on. That night, yeah. that would have made a pretty big deal. Like, if you would have just came, you know, would have just been done for the day mm-hmm. and just been chilling, and it would have been differently. Like, I had, I had basically had to leave from the movies and go straight to work. Yeah, I didn't have time to do nothing, <laughs> and my tire was flat, so Dang. I had to, <laughs> I had to stop and do all that and try to get that together before I even went to work. Dang, that's cool. Yeah, so <laughs> it, 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 you know, it worked out. I feel like. Especially for like the times that we have done like reviews, that was a good one. Yeah, we had some good little jokes. In there. <laughs> I feel like it was a good. We did a pretty good job. In my Dang, opinion, this day there two o'clock. That's great. Yep. Yep. Man, so, that was a long time, man. Coming from a uh, black nerd planet <laughs> and the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that earlier, and I meant to say it before Indian? we started. Oh man, that's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's a space theme. Oh, man. Well, on that note, I guess. Thanks, guys. If you didn't, you know, shop off us already. (laughs) Checking it out. If you don't check it out, if you just like the regular stuff, still hit us up. Let us know how you felt about Star Wars. I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. Everybody else. I mean, obviously, you know, socials is people going to be like, man, it's not that angry. I love it. Whatever. I want some more personal. Personal opinions. Yeah. (laughs) All the people that listen to us, I appreciate it. And um, yeah, man, if you don't listen to us, I appreciate that too, because at least you're honest, I guess. <laughs> you never know, because you're not we'll listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Peace out, people. Yeah. Out. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone.